remember, whatever caused the success today is a, tra is a strategic innovation that we had 20 years ago, and we're just, you know, operating, uh, operating efficiently on that particular uh, innovation 20 years ago. Yeah. So if companies are continuously tightening the budgets, how will they make room for making the next uh, strategic or transformational innovation that will help them renew and secure their uh, position in the industry? Yeah. Some companies, they seem to forget that. Some companies, they seem to remember that, wow, it was really what we did 20 years ago that is, that is the reason for where the company is today. So I would say visionary people in the board that have you know, power to argue and push back to shareholders. And then of course, there's the ownership structure uh, of the shareholders yeah. vary from company to company. And these like board members, most of them had done lots of business and money from the current way of, of like, maybe from the same industry, maybe from the same domain. They, they know what's going right now in the business. But not all of them know the what's how fast it's changing and what could it be in the, in the future. So what you're saying about visionary is maybe not only um, how old they are, what's their experience, it's the way they see business. Not only right now we're making more money, in two quarters we'll make much more money and so forth. It's like it's like planting a tree that will give you fruits in, in 10, 15 years from now. And, and it's hard, I think, to, to have these people uh, in general. So most people are, are, you know, are excelling in what they know right now. And, and they're making lots of, lots of money li li right now from it. So they don't think I need to do things differently. And, and doing things differently is, is with uncertainty and it's hard. So, um, so I guess. I'll I'm not, so I think, let me, let me put my argument in a different context. I would say probably for many of these large corporates, you have in the board members, very, very intelligent people, very successful people that have demonstrated their success consistently over time. And probably many of these people are also the right visionary people, but there's nothing that can take vision out of people like money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have a government that could tell you the story too. <laughs> yes. So, so but my point being here is that probably many of these people have, uh, you know, uh, many have a technical background, some have a commercial background, some have made a startup, some have made huge success in the past. But if you constantly have a layer that says, uh, we have to satisfy our shareholders in the next quarter. That's why I'm saying there's nothing that can take the vision out of people like money. So, so it's about, you know, parking that discussion and saying, what happened if we missed a couple of quarters? What would happen? Well, this could happen to the stock price. It means that if we had to issue new shares, we would get this and this less. Of course, that has consequences. I'm not saying, but if we take calculated risks in how we communicate and we're really, really focused on our shareholder communications, how much time would that buy us? And whatever time you can buy for the board, if the board is on board, that is time that you're buying for the CEO and the great people within his or her organization to do something really great. But, but, uh, but, uh, but the money part is something that we have to address so it doesn't puncture um, any effort that we're trying to make. Yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. And, and you know, I never thought about it this way, but actually th these people, are, of course, they are talented. It's not like I'm not questioning the fact that the board members are talented, but the way they see the world is so different than someone who is like an entrepreneur or something. Like I, I heard a, a talk with the Elon Musk, we're mentioning in second time in this, in this talk. And he said that he thinks that management and board are seeing too much of like PowerPoint presentations and graphs and they don't go into the, you know, the, the floor where everything is, is really being done. They are not really, you know, within the factory, what's going on there. And, and I guess that this is how we structure it, what you said about governance. So this is the tr structure of things. This is their role in everything. But if you want to do things differently, I think especially right now, because some even industries, I would say, don't cannot rely on what they know because what they know has changed. 
things are not as it was. And, and we, we know that things will continue to change afterwards. So they cannot really rely on their knowledge, uh, which makes their, their lives much harder. I, I don't envy any CEO right now in a big corporate, that's for sure. It's, it seems really, really tough. So what would be the best tip you can give